guys thank you so much for clicking on to another DOY creation 7 video okay in today's video we will be making the crochet tam brand, uh, beret whichever one you want to call it um, I am using the ice yarn that was gifted to me by Miss Amanda Reese and this is a I believe it's a four ply yarn this is a four ply yarn I am also using the letter J crochet hook. You are going to be needing some scissors and your tapestry needle. So those are the items that you will be needing to make this beautiful tam and use whatever color that you have available along with a letter J crochet hook. Before I get started, you know I always like to give glory, honor, and praise to the Most High Yah. So I'm going to pull my camera down so we can go ahead and get started. Hold on one second. Okay, we're going to start off with a slip knot. Chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go ahead and join at the first chain. Slip stitch to join. And we now have a ring. Chain three one two three inside of the ring put 11 double crochets into that ring so that's one and two and i'm crocheting right over my uh loose piece right here i'm crocheting right on top of that four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Your first double cro uh, your first chain three is counted as the first double crochet along with eleven double crochets. That's a total of twelve double crochets you could pull your string to close it up and go ahead and go right directly on top of your chain three go right on top of it and we're going to slip stitch to join okay go ahead and chain three right on right in the same space as the chain three go ahead and put a double crochet into that same space and into each double crochets around I want you to put two double crochets into the same space so that's one go back into that same space and now that's two go to the next one one and two so we're going to repeat that process all the way around we're going to put two double crochets into each stitch across and you should have a total of 24. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I'm coming up to my last two double crochets. And you should have a total of 24 double crochets. Right on top of the chain three, go ahead and slip stitch to join. Okay, that is how we're looking so far. Go ahead and chain three. One, two, three. And the next stitch, put two double crochets in that stitch. That's one and two. The next stitch, one double crochet. The next stitch, two double crochets. One and two. So we're going to alternate that all the way around. One double crochet. And the next stitch, two double crochet so repeat that pattern all the way around one double crochet and then the next stitch you're going to put two double crochets into the same stitch and i'll meet you back around okay so i am coming up to my last two stitches where i'm going to do one double crochet and then the next stitch you should always end with two double crochets okay 
you're going to end with two double crochets into the same stitch go ahead and slip stitch to join right on top of the chain three okay so for the next round go ahead and chain three and then in the next stitch you're going to put one double crochet in the third stitch you're going to put two double crochets into the same stitch so we're going to do one double crochet one double crochet and the third stitch we're going to put two double crochets into the same stitch again we're going to go one double crochet one double crochet in the third stitch two double crochets so repeat that all the way around and I'll be back once I get to the beginning okay so I'm coming up to my last three stitches so I'm going to do one double crochet one double crochet and then I'm going to do two double crochet in the same stitch and then I'm just going to slip stitch to join and what we're doing is we just expanding the the top part the crown of the tam all right so the next row we're going to chain three one two three and then the next stitch go ahead and put one double crochet the next stitch one double crochet and to the fourth stitch we're going to put two double crochets okay one two three in the fourth stitch so we do one double crochet into the next three stitches two and three and the fourth stitch we're going to put two double crochets into the same stitch so we're going to repeat this process all the way around one two three and then the fourth one we're going to put two double crochets into the same stitch so go ahead and repeat that all the way around and I'll be back once I get to the beginning okay I am back so I'm coming up to my last four stitches so I'm going to do one double crochet one double crochet one double crochet and then in my fourth stitch I'm going to put two double crochets one and two I'm gonna go ahead and slip stitch to join right on top of the chain three chain three one two three and the next stitch you're going to do one double crochet one double crochet one double crochet and then in the fifth stitch you are going to put two double crochets together one and two in the same stitch so this round we want to do one double crochet one double crochet one double crochet one double crochet and then into the fifth one we're going to put two double crochets okay so go ahead and repeat that all the way around and i'll meet you back at the beginning okay I'm coming up on my last five stitches so I'm going to put one double crochet into the next four spaces and then in my last stitch I'm going to put two double crochets into the same space or chain go ahead and slip stitch to join okay as you can see it's nice and smooth and that's the look that we want so for the next row chain three one two three and into the next five chain so that's one two three four because we did one two four and five and then in the sixth Space, we're going to put two double crochets 
So this one is every six space. We're going to put two double crochet. So that's one double crochet, two double crochet, three double crochet, four, five, and then in the sixth space, we're going to put two. So that's one and two into the same space. So we're going to repeat this all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, and then in the sixth space, we're going to put two double crochets into that same space. So go ahead and repeat that all the way around and I'll meet you back at the beginning. Okay, I'm coming up to my last six spaces. So I'm going to do one double crochet into the next five. That's one, two, three, three, sorry about that, four, and five and in my sixth space I'm going to put two double crochets there that's one go back into the same space and two go ahead and slip stitch to join on top of your chain three chain three one two three and then we're going to do that first one is one double crochet and to the next six spaces we're going to put one double crochet into our next six spaces. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and then that is six. In the seventh space, go ahead and put two double crochets into that seventh space. So we did one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Into the seventh space, we're going to put two double crochets. We're just repeating and increasing as we go along. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then on the seventh space, we're going to put two double crochets. So go ahead and repeat this one just like we did the bottom. Go ahead and repeat this one all the way around and I'll meet you back at the top of chain three. Okay, I'm back and I got my last seven to do. So I will be putting one double crochet into each stitch. That's two and three, four, five, six, and then in my seventh space, I'm going to put two double crochets there. Okay, and then I'm going to do what we always do, slip stitch to join, chain three, one, two, three. And then we're going to do um, six double crochets. What we did, we just finished one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to do seven double crochets and then in the eighth space we are going to put two double crochets into the eighth space make sure okay and this is our last increase so that's one two three four five six seven and then in the eighth space we want to put two double crochets okay so again this is our last increase so we don't have to do all that counting anymore, but go ahead and put seven double crochets and then two into the eighth space. And I'll be back once I go all the way around and I'll meet you back here. Okay, I'm coming up to my last eight stitches right here. So again, we're going to do a double crochet in the next seven stitches that's one and the next seven 
and two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then in the eighth stitch, my last stitch, I'm going to put two double crochets into that same stitch. And we're going to go ahead and slip stitch to chain, uh, slip stitch to join on top of the chain three. So that was the last row of our increase. Okay, I do it that way because I want my top part of my hat to be nice and flat the way that it is looking right now. So now what we're going to do is chain three. And because there's no more increase, we are just going to put one double crochet on top of every double crochet. So make one double crochet all the way around. And yeah, so again, one double crochet all the way around and I'll meet you back at the beginning. Okay, I am back. I'm coming up to my last my last few double crochets. Okay. And on the top of the chain 3, go ahead and slip stitch to join as we've been doing before. And so that is it for the um you know, the width. So go ahead now and chain two, one, two. You're going to skip, hold on for one second. I got my TV up too loud. Hold on. Okay. So you're going to chain two, skip the next chain, and do a half double crochet in the next chain. Skip, half double crochet. Skip. Half double crochet, half double crochet, wrap the yarn around your hook, go into the stitch, grab the yarn. You have three stitches on your hoop. Go ahead and pull through all three. So that is what we're going to do all the way around this row right here. We're going to skip, skip a stitch and half double crochet into the next stitch. So go ahead and finish that process all the way around. And this was going to cause it to draw this hat in. So go ahead and do a half double crochet into every other stitch. And I'll be back once I go all the way around. And I'll tell you what to do next. So I'm coming up to my last stitch. I did my half double crochet. I should have one extra stitch on the top of the chain two. Go ahead and slip stitch to join. Okay? Slip stitch to join. So that is the end of that row there. And I'm just going to put a stitch mark at my last half double crochet or my chain two. Where I did my chain two, I'm going to put a stitch mark there so I can remember where I'm at. Now we're going to go ahead and chain one. And all we're going to do is go into each stitch around and do single crochets. So we're just going to do single crochets all the way around the brim or the hat. So we're going to put one single crochet all the way around. Now I'm thinking that I'm going to need a total of three rows of the single crochets. Um, I'm going to do three rows and come back and see was three rows enough to close up this right here or do I need more. But for right now, go ahead and do three rows of single crochet. Each time that you come back to the beginning, just slip stitch, chain one, and then repeat the process around for three rows. I'll be right back. Hey guys, I am back. Um, I do need to make a adjustment for this hat and I do apologize. Um, I think probably when I made my first hat, it could have been with a different size crochet hook. When you got through with your, um, your last row of 
increases where we did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we double crochet into the eighth. And then the following row, we did one double crochet into each stitch around. And I had you only doing one row of the half of the double crochet. Okay. So we was finished with our increases and then we went one row of double crochet. Instead of doing one row of double crochet, we need to do a total of five rows of the double crochet. I apologize for this and I uh, hope this is not too confusing. But when I tried on my hat, it was too small. So I know I need to increase the hat further. So instead of one row of double crocheting, please do five rows of the double crochet. Again, I apologize for the confusion. I'll meet you back once I have a total of five rows of double crochet. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. So once you have completed five rows of double crochet, go ahead and slip stitch to join. And this is the size that I need. Now, if you need yours to be larger or smaller, just uh, decrease the amount of double crochets that you did. So that was five rows of double crochet and now we're going to do chain two, skip the next stitch, half double crochet into the next. So we're just going to do that. We're going to skip and half double crochet all the way around. And again, to do a half double crochet, skip, wrap the yarn around your hook, go into the stitch. You have three on your loop. Go ahead and pull through all three. So go ahead and do that all the way around and I will meet you back at the beginning of the chain two. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So once you have completed your round of half double crochet, go ahead and chain one and then single crochet into each stitch around. So we're just going to single crochet into each stitch around and to do a single crochet, Go into the next stitch, pull the yarn through. You have two loops on your hook, pull through both. So we're going to do two rows, two rows of single crochet all the way around. When you get back to the beginning, slip stitch to join, chain one, and then repeat the process for a total of two rows. And I'll be back once I have my two rows completed. Okay, so I am back. I did two rows of single crochet. I just have this um, piece of yarn right here as my stitch mark. But we are now completed. You can go ahead and cut your yarn and then fasten off. And once you do that, you could just sew in your loose strand along with your strand on the inside so that is our that is our tan so i am back so here is how our tan is looking i'll sew in my um loose pieces off camera but let me just show you how it looks with the mannequin on on the mannequin head okay and I'm going to start it off looking this way. So this is one way you can wear it. So there it is. Nice. Simple. Okay, the side. The back. Okay. So there's how it looks. Again, I will fix the strings later. And actually I wanted to, never mind. And with the tam, you can wear it um, to the side if you want to bring it to the side. That's why I love the tam or berets, however you call them. You can bring it to the side, get that real chic type of look. Really, really sassy right there. Or you can definitely bring it back. 
if you wanted to bring it off your um, off your head so let me show you how that looks okay it's hard to look at the camera and do this at the same time so hold on one second okay so you know how you just like to have some of your hair hanging out and you just want that off the head type of look just like that okay again you can bring it to the side however you want to do it you know what i mean you can really uh, play around with it and have fun with it it's just that type of a, a type of hat but yeah that is our tan let me just bring it back to the original look all right so there you have it. That is how I make my Tam or Beret, whichever one that you prefer calling it. I love it. So if you want to make this one in a like child size, you would just decrease on how many rows you went. So we went, uh, we increased it for seven rows and then we did five rows of double crochet. If you want it smaller, just decrease it to the size of the person head to get the correct measurements okay but that is how we looking and because i did an error in here and i'm not able to edit that out i will be adding the written um the written uh pattern in my description box below so just look for that and yeah so that is how we look i hope you guys really enjoyed the tutorial if so please make sure you like comment share and subscribe if you have not already subscribed yep and i'll just tuck that in and fix that on later but that is all i wanted to come by and share with you guys today thank you so much for taking the time out to click on to this video and until next video always remember y'all yeah, psalm 68 4 in your king james version always keep your life and your health in check. And I'll be checking you guys in the next video really, really soon. All right. Bye for now.